We will now compare the two main programming languages for developing iOS applications as well as Mac applications. These are Objective-C and Swift. So Objective-C uh, has been known for more than 30 years at a time when only in 2014, which is recently, Apple introduced a new programming and simpler language named Swift. So if you wonder why we want to compare Objective-C and Swift, so we have two main reasons for that. First of all, they are both used to develop native iOS applications. And secondly, Swift is not a direct descendant of Objective-C. Thus, there are lots of differences between them. So in a nutshell, Swift is fast, Swift is modern, and Swift is designed for safety and it enables a level of interactivity and development that you have never seen before with Objective-C. So unlike its younger competitor, Objective-C has been used by Apple since 1990s. Since, the, uh, since then, the language has been the first choice for anyone who, wants, who wanted to create an application for OS X and iOS. So uh, what is Objective-C actually? Objective-C is a combination of two languages named Smalltalk and C. So Smalltalk and C were combined to create Objective-C, making it a language with an extensive and complex syntax. So for those people coming from C and C++ background, you know what I'm talking about. So let us compare these two languages. So uh, let us first start with the user interface. Uh, since Objective-C is old, it's very old. Uh, any iOS version will be okay for your application under Objective-C, whereas Swift only supports iOS 7 plus. For the user interface design, uh, there exists Apple Swift UI that built into Xcode 11 and works with iOS 13 and newer versions. So you can build your own user interface by writing code or just set up a preview. What you see is what you get. Simultaneously, see, you can see the changes in both code and the preview window. One could say that the two languages play a draw in this metric. From the performance, per uh, from the performance perspective, you may have heard that Swift is 2.6 times faster than Objective-C because Swift can really outperform Objective-C due to simpler syntax and performing type checking at compile time. So here it's also clear that the young language wins. From the safety perspective, what is useful to understand about Objective-C security is that there is a presence of a null pointer, which can eventually lead uh, to errors and the uh, application may uh, point to areas in the memory where there is no operation. Uh, while uh, it may seem useful at the first glance because of an opportunity for developers to widen access of data, actually it can cause lots of errors. Meanwhile, Swift uh, was developed to improve code security for iOS products. Uh, from the toolkits and the community uh, support, so developing a successful project is more likely when uh, you have the support, expertise, and knowledge of the industry experts. Uh, Swift is an open source language, unlike Objective-C. It means that uh, it's possible to learn how the language works in details and understand all the pitfalls. So open source also means that more people and more support for the project. Uh, from the toolkit's perspective, given the Objective-C's long history, developers can easily find tons of tools, but don't count on creating new ones for Objective-C development. Uh, although Apple is still supporting it, uh, the chances that you find in, uh, you're finding new toolkits for Swift are more likely. It's extremely easy to find tools provided by third-party companies or Apple or developers for Swift because it's new and uh, a big bet. Well, here, another criterion of Objective-C versus Swift comparison, where Swift has the upper hand. Now, from the long-term perspective, uh, as mentioned earlier, Objective-C was the first and only language for iOS development for a very, very, very long time. So with the advent of Swift, Objective-C has taken the second plane in the world of Apple. Today, the company actively trains future users on Swift and introduce the features that makes it leading language for Apple. 
From the code complexity perspective, I can say that Swift requires less code. Swift uses string interpolation, where, uh, which eliminates the need to memorize tokens so developers can insert variables directly into strings, such as buttons, strings, or labels. So this avoids the common cause of crashing that happens with Objective-C. But what is more important is that Swift is more concise, so and uh, as developers read code 10 times more often than they write it, it is obvious that Swift is easier to perceive visually, so it is faster to work with. From the memory management perspective, a big topic here, again, especially if you're coming from a C background, because memory management is a real headache. Objective-C uses ARC, uh, which is a feature uh, supported within only the Cocoa API. So the issue here is that the approach is available not for some other APIs, but only for Cocoa API. So other APIs such as Core Graphics, etc., this ARC is not supported. So uh, meanwhile, for Swift, Swift support ARC, not only for the Cocoa Touch API, but for all the APIs that allow memory management optimization, similar to Cocoa Touch. Again, another dimension in where Swift clearly wins over Objective-C. Obviously, iOS applications created before 2014 are most likely written in Objective-C, simply because Swift didn't exist. So today, however, it's quite common for companies to consider converting Objective-C to Swift code and very rarely the other way around. Again, very important thing, you can find an application written in both languages at the same time.